This is Jared Horak for today's RacingDigest.com, and in this video we're going to talk about 2018 Kentucky Derby contenders. All of the Kentucky Derby points races have now been complete. The top 20 Kentucky Derby points earners will meet at Churchill Downs on the first Saturday in May, and right now on the screen you'll see the names of those top 20 horses. Uh, and, and if any other of those horses drop out, obviously then the next horse in line on the points standings would move up and get into the field. Actually, number um, combatant is number 21 on the points list. So if any of the top 20 run, run, um, decide not to run in the Derby for whatever reason, combatant would move up and, and be able to run in the Derby. Now they've had they had 26 point races in 2018 uh, and 23 different winners this year. We've had three two-time winners of Kentucky Derby points races. Audible he won the Holy Bull and the Florida Derby for trainer Ty Pletcher. Magnum Moon won the Rebel Stakes and the Arkansas Derby for Pletcher. And then my boy Jack. Uh, he won the Southwest Stakes and the Lexington Stakes for trainer Keith DeSormo. Uh, so it was wide open this year with those 23 different winners. It was a real scramble to get into the Derby. Uh, the second thing we're going to talk about here, the top six points races, those big six races, all at a mile and an eighth, and they were worth 100 points to the winner, 40 for second, 20 for third, and 10 for fourth. And those six races were the Louisiana Derby, the Florida Derby, the Wood Memorial, the Bluegrass Stakes, the Santa Anita Derby, and then finally the Arkansas Derby. And trainer Todd Putcher had the winners in four of those six races, four different horses as well. Uh, trainer Bob Baffert had, had a winner uh, that was justified in the Santa Anita Derby, and then trainer Chad Brown had your two-year-old champion Good Magic win the Bluegrass Stakes. So Pletcher dominated those big six races, and he's won the Kentucky Derby two times so far. Uh, he's had a super saver, and then uh, last year, uh, he was able uh, to get the, the job done with Always Dreaming. Uh, trainer Bob Baffert has won the Kentucky Derby four times, including a Triple Crown winner, American Pharaoh. And then Chad Brown hasn't won the Derby yet, uh, but, but he does have a Preakness Stakes victory, and he's looking to get his, his first Derby. Uh, the Apollo Curse. Everybody knows about the Apollo Curse. Uh, since 1882, Apollo was the only horse to win uh, the, uh, the Kentucky Derby without racing as a two-year-old. Now, since 1937, 61 horses have tried to win the Derby as unraced two-year-olds. Zero wins, three second-place finishes, and five third-place finishes. Now, this year we have two very talented unraced two-year-olds going for the Kentucky Derby, including your likely favorite, Justify, for trainer Bob Baffert. Three for three lifetime, he's never been tested. Magnum Moon for trainer Todd Pletcher. Four for four lifetime, he's never really been tested either. And maybe that's going to be a problem for those two. In their final preps, Justify in the Santa Anita Derby, Magnum Moon in the Arkansas Derby, they went right out to the front. They got no pressure. They were able to set easy paces and roll to victory. Now, in, in a 20-horse field on the first Saturday in May in the Kentucky Derby, there could be a lot of jostling for position and, and some bumping. And, and if, if you know, either of those horses have to go through that, that's going to be something new. They've never gone through anything like that before. And we have some overseas intrigue this year. You have two horses coming in from overseas. Gronkowski, uh, he won his last four starts on all-weather footing in Great Britain. And then you have Mendelssohn coming in uh, from, off of a victory in the UAE Derby. Now Gronkowski, uh, the, the, um, the horse, and then you have Gronkowski, uh, the New England's Patriots player, Rob Gronkowski. The Patriots player, he's, he's now part of the ownership group, so he, obviously he liked the name Gronkowski. He jumped in on the ownership group, and he's now part owner of the horse Gronkowski, and he's going to be coming in and running in the Derby. Mendelssohn looked outstanding. He won the UAE Derby by more than 18 lengths in his last start. You may remember him in the United States last year in the Breeders' Cup in the Juvenile Turf. He won that race for trainer Aidan O'Brien. He can handle any kind of ground. He's run well on all-weather ground, on turf, on dirt. Uh, he romped last time in the UAE Derby. He's very talented, and, and he is a threat to win the Kentucky Derby for sure. Now, some of the, the stats of, of, for, for the horses Justify has only run three times. So you have, you're, you're going to be running the gamut here. As you see, Justify, no races as, as in 2017, three races this year in 2018. And then you have horses like Forense Fire with nine lifetime starts. You have Flame Away with nine lifetime starts, very consistent. And then my boy Jack leaps the way. He's had 10 lifetime starts for trainer Keith DeSormo. Jockey Kent DeSormo is going to ride him in the Kentucky Derby. And Kent DeSormo has won the Kentucky Derby three times. So my boy Jack is going to be one that's going to try to get involved late. If the pace is fast, look for him to be closing uh, in the stretch. Now, the top two two-year-olds from this year, they, from last year, they've made the Kentucky Derby field. And that would be your two-year-old champion, Good Magic, 
And then Boat de Oro for trainer Mick Ruiz in Southern California. Good magic. Very talented last year. Broke his maiden in that Breeders' Cup Juvenile. He looks so good. None of his two starts this year. He finished third in his first start in the Fountain of Youth, and then he moved forward to win the Bluegrass Stakes. And look for him to try to move forward again, and I wouldn't be surprised if he did in the Kentucky Derby. Boat Doro has been very consistent. Three-time a graded stakes winner. He's always in the top three. He, he won his um, first start this year. He was placed first through this qualification in the San Felipe Stakes, one of the stronger prep races. And then, again, last time he chased Justify. He had no chance to catch him in the San Anita Derby. He was clearly second best. And he's going to get a new rider for the Kentucky Derby. Victor Espinosa is going to jump aboard Bolt Doro. And Victor Espinosa has won the Kentucky Derby three times. Now, I started my Derby list last September after the Del Mar and San Anita Summer Meets. And four of my 11 exceptional 11 horses that I had on that list have made the Kentucky Derby for 2018. And they are Bolt Doro, Good Magic, Free Drop Billy uh, for, for trainer Dale Romans, and then Salamini for trainer Bob Baffert. So four of my 11 has, have made the Derby. And especially dangerous in this race, I think, are going to be both Oro and, and Good Magic. Now, Always Dreaming was your winner last year. I mentioned that for trainer Todd Pletcher. He won the, the Florida Derby, and he had some strong Today's Racing Digest numbers. I picked him on, on top based on those Today's Racing Digest numbers last year. And my annual Kentucky Derby full card, once again, will be available at todaysracingdigest.com. You can also read all of my Kentucky Derby weekly reports at todaysracingdigest.com. So my weekly reports are there. I've been following this derby, these derby contenders since last September. And hopefully I'm going to be on the right track and have that winner in back-to-back -back years. And you can find, like I said, my full cards at todaysracingdigest.com. And you can read those weekly derby reports at todaysracingdigest.com. And that will wrap up this Kentucky Derby contenders video. Until next time, good luck at the races.